In a daring and unexpected announcement, a team of space researchers has revealed the detection of a celestial object that defies every previously known category. Unlike anything catalogued before, this object has baffled astronomers with its unique characteristics. According to NASA, long celebrated for its groundbreaking cosmic discoveries, this world is not only intriguing due to its unusual size and strategic location but also because it emits a peculiar type of light. This glow, scientists claim, does not behave like ordinary reflected sunlight. Instead, it displays qualities that suggest something artificial, raising one inevitable question. Could we be witnessing evidence of intelligent life? Are we on the brink of a cosmic revelation that may forever change how we perceive the universe? Is this new discovery not just another cold, rocky body floating in space, but a possible indicator of life, or at least signs of complex, unexplained processes, beyond Earth? To find answers, we look to NASA's Revolutionary Dawn mission, a project designed to peer into the heart of our solar system's most mysterious objects. Launched in 2007, the Dawn spacecraft had a dual mission, to study two significant bodies in the asteroid belt, Vesta and Ceres. Equipped with three sophisticated ion propulsion engines, Dawn became the first spacecraft in history to orbit two celestial bodies beyond Earth. These engines allowed the spacecraft to travel incredible distances with steady acceleration, opening new doors for long-duration space travel. The mission began with a 14-month detailed exploration of Vesta, the second largest object in the asteroid belt. During this phase, Dawn captured high-resolution images that provided unprecedented insight into Vesta's rugged surface and complex geological history. After completing its study, Dawn embarked on the next and perhaps most fascinating leg of its journey, to the dwarf planet Ceres. Ceres, first discovered in 1801 by Italian astronomer Giuseppe Piazzi, is the largest object in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Measuring about 950 kilometers in diameter, Ceres holds the distinction of being both the belt's biggest and most massive entity. It was even once considered a planet before being demoted, then reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006. Despite being so close in cosmic terms, Ceres has long remained a mystery, cloaked in shadow and speculation. When Dawn finally reached Ceres in 2015 after a two-year journey, what it found stunned the scientific community. As the spacecraft inched closer to the icy dwarf planet, its cameras began capturing sharp, unprecedented images of the surface. These images revealed something shocking, brilliant white spots scattered across an otherwise dark and uneven terrain. Most notably, a large concentration of these luminous marks was discovered inside a massive crater named Decatur. These radiant features sparked an immediate scientific debate. What could they be? Initially, ideas ranged from icy patches reflecting sunlight to signs of geological activity. But as Don transmitted more detailed data, a clearer picture began to emerge. The bright spots weren't singular or isolated. Instead, they consisted of multiple reflective areas, clusters of high albedo material. The prevailing theory suggested these were deposits of salts left behind after salty water, or brine, had reached the surface and sublimated, that is, turned directly from liquid to gas. This pointed to one groundbreaking possibility, cryovolcanism. Cryovolcanism, volcanic activity involving icy substances like water, ammonia, or methane instead of molten rock is an extremely rare phenomenon in the solar system. Unlike Earth's fiery lava eruptions, cryovolcanoes eject cold, volatile liquids or gases. On Ceres, scientists believe that brine from beneath the surface seeped up through cracks, evaporated upon contact with space, and left behind bright salt crusts. These discoveries radically transformed our understanding of Ceres, which had previously been considered a dormant, inert world. But that was only the beginning. As the mission progressed, Don's sensors and cameras detected ammonia-bearing clays and carbonates, chemical signatures not native to Ceres' current location in the asteroid belt. This suggested that the dwarf planet may have formed much farther out in the solar system, in the colder, outer reaches, and later migrated inward. The presence of ammonia is especially fascinating because it lowers water's freezing point allowing salty liquids to exist closer to the surface, 
possibly even today. The structure of Ceres itself is unlike anything else in the asteroid belt. It is believed to have a layered interior, including a rocky core surrounded by a mantle rich in water ice. This mantle could account for as much as 50% of Ceres' total volume. The surface, too, is porous and sponge-like, resembling a comet more than a typical rocky asteroid. This unique composition supports the theory that subsurface reservoirs of liquid water could still exist today potentially heated by residual internal warmth from the planet's formation. Such findings are deeply significant. The ingredients necessary for life, water, organic compounds, heat, and certain minerals, may well be present on Ceres. The possibility of microbial life developing in a salty underground ocean is not far-fetched. If true, this small world could be one of the most promising candidates for extraterrestrial life in our solar system. The area of most interest, spot 5 in a cater crater, continues to captivate scientists. Its unusual brightness, along with subtle changes in reflectivity over time, suggests that geological processes may still be active. Additional bright patches spread across the dwarf planet further reinforce the theory that Ceres is not a static body but a dynamic one. These areas are more than scientific curiosities. They are windows into a planetary body still evolving under our very eyes. The broader implications are profound. By studying Ceres, we don't just learn about one dwarf planet. We gather clues about the early solar system and the potential for life elsewhere. Ceres offers a unique blueprint for icy worlds, and the lessons it teaches may help decode the nature of distant exoplanets or even moons like Europa and Enceladus both of which also show signs of subsurface oceans and cryovolcanism. As the Dawn mission came to an end in 2018, it left behind a treasure trove of data that scientists are still analyzing today. The mission proved that even the smallest and seemingly unremarkable objects in our solar system can surprise us. From blurry telescope images to ultra-detailed maps of the surface, Ceres has transformed from a vague celestial dot into one of the most intriguing bodies in space. So what do the bright lights on Ceres truly signify? Are they merely natural salt deposits, or could they be the result of artificial processes? While the idea of alien activity remains speculative, the possibility cannot be completely ruled out. Science demands skepticism, but it also demands open-mindedness. As we continue to explore, we must be prepared for answers we never expected. In the end, NASA's Dawn mission exemplifies humanity's insatiable curiosity and drive to explore. The data collected has not only rewritten textbooks but also inspired new missions and new questions. One thing is certain. We are just beginning to scratch the surface, literally and metaphorically, of what Ceres and other distant worlds may hold. At Spaceloop, we believe that every new revelation brings us closer to understanding our place in the cosmos. Could icy planets once dismissed as lifeless actually be cradles of hidden life? Could the mysteries of Ceres be just the beginning of a deeper truth about our solar system? As we continue to send our instruments farther into space, we may find that the universe is not silent and cold, but vibrant and filled with secrets waiting to be discovered.